When it comes to the local food chain, Indiana's farms are usually home to corn, pigs, and soybeans. But this week, we got the chance to tour an urban farm in Indy that's bringing fresh seafood to Hoosiers while also keeping the environment in mind. There are traditional shrimp farms in countries like Mexico, India, and Ecuador. Uh, and we are different because we don't need an ocean. Shrimp farm is based on biotechnology and we don't need water exchange so this means that we don't need to uh, uh, pollute the water in the ocean so that we, we, we recycle the nutrients, we recycle the energy. Uh, it's basically we have like a, a circular economy and a circular ecosystem within our ponds. Our system is guiding uh, everything that happens here. Um, it, it, it guides the automatic, automation, uh, automatic feeder, it also guides the aeration systems, um, and it also uh, instructs our employees about what to do. It gives a specific task uh, at a specific time of the day to do it. So then we don't, we don't need to train people on how to grow shrimp, it's not that hard to, to train them, we only need to train them on how to uh, use these, uh, this system. I think that the best uh, the best feature of, of, uh, of, of urban shrimp farming is that you can grow shrimp in close to the consumer. They can come here, they can see how we grow our shrimp, and so they can rebuild trust in their uh, in the in the food that they are that they are eating. So they can they know that we don't use antibiotics and that we treat our people well. This, we are basically neighbors. We want to. Uh, prove that we can grow shrimp anywhere. So if we can grow shrimp here in landlocked Indianapolis, we can, shrimp, we can grow shrimp anywhere. Urban farming is relatively new, but Indy is no stranger to this kind of revolutionary tactic. We recently met up with Demaro Vitalis, who created this urban farm on East 10th Street. He calls it New Age Provisions, and he says he had no prior experience with farming before he started this project, but he knew he wanted to provide fresh food to his community. And now he does exactly that with hydroponic farming inside of shipping containers. Inside, they are decked out with temperature and humidity sensors and automated nutrient and light systems, and that means he can grow year-round. From seed to harvest, it takes about six to eight weeks and from there it takes almost no time at all to get to Hoosier Kitchens. When we harvest within 24 hours it's in the hands of the consumer so you, you get the opportunity to, to try some of the freshest lettuce, some of the freshest kale, some of the freshest leafy greens you ever had. Vitalis was the first person to ever bring container farming to Indiana. As a result he was recognized as a featured farmer in the 2022 Indiana State Fair. 